Welcome to Last Day's Signs and Wonders with Mel Bond. It's such an honor and a privilege that you would allow us to come into your life, in your presence, and uh, be a mouthpiece of God for you. And I promise you that uh, we're not taking this lightly. And so we thank you for tuning in. And we especially want to thank our TV partners for helping us reach out and touch the world with God's love. It's because of your love, your prayers, and your financial support that it enables us to touch more lives. And we're doing it in Jesus' name. And so we thank you from the depths of our heart. Now I want to share a message with you that will absolutely change your life because I've heard from God. And uh, I want to talk about the difference between Rhema and Logos. Or you could say uh, Rhema versus Logos. Thank you for tuning in. Well, there are some powerful verses in the Bible. Like John chapter 14, verse 12 through 14, where Jesus said this. He says, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do. And if you ask anything in my name, he says, I will do it. And he mentioned twice in that passage, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And the fact of the matter is, every single one of us that has ever read that verse, there's been times that we say, well, you know the Bible says that I can do what Jesus did and greater. And then you try to do it and it didn't happen. Or the verse says, if you ask anything in my name, that the Father be glorified in the Son, I'll do it. And uh, however, and there's other powerful scriptures like that, John 16, 24, Hitherto have you asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy will be full. And uh, I'd be willing to say 100% of us, if you've read the Bible a little bit, that you found passages of scripture like that, and you tried it, and it didn't work. Well, let me tell you a story about three young ladies that um, in the country of Korea a few years ago that apparently they read verses like that, and um, they read verses where Jesus walked on the water, where Peter walked on the water, and so they were in a particular community and they wanted to go across the river but there was a storm and so the river was flooded you couldn't cross the bridge because it was flooded and so they said well you know according to the bible we can do the works of jesus and we read these verses so we're going to just walk across the this water and so they started walking across the river and all three of them drowned. And they were Christians. And they had scripture to validate what they were doing, but it didn't work for them. What's the problem? What's the problem? Why is it that sometimes, some people, we find scriptures and it doesn't work for us? Well, it's real simple. That as you study the Bible, that you find the word word, W-O-R-D, and it's translated in the Bible as word. However, if you'll do a little bit of research, and it's so simple today as never before, you can get Strong's Concordance free on the, you know, on the Internet, and it's free. And uh, like I said, I've mentioned this before, that, my goodness, I can remember back in 1973, that I went to Bible college a little late in my life, but still I, I went. And I found out about the Strong's Concordance. And it was a, it's got every word in the Bible. And it, it's a big paperback book. And it gives you the fuller meaning of each word in the original language. I was so thrilled. I absolutely wore that Concordance out and, and ended up buying another one because I was so thrilled about it. But what used to take me like probably six months by just reading the Bible when I got a hold of that concordance and it gave me the fuller meaning of words in the Bible, then it cut it down to about maybe a month or two that, you know, that I could find the same information. 
Well, as time went on, now I, I, I can remember when they put the Strong's kind coordinates and as I studied the Bible and it, through my studies, just through my studies, I find that there are uh, many concordances that will go into the original language that gives you the fuller meaning. And I've got the six best in the world. And since 1984, I've had these. And I'm telling you, uh, no, and, uh, later than that, since 1974, that the Strong's Concordance is the best. It gives you the fuller meaning. It doesn't give you uh, strong James Strong's opinion, but gives you all the possible meanings of this word. Some of the concordance, they give you their opinion. I don't like anybody to try to give me their opinion. I want to make up my own mind and see what are all the possibilities. So anyway, then it was probably about 1984 that I found out that you can get the Strong's Concordance uh, by CDs and put it in your computer. And I was so thrilled with that. And back then, it cost me probably about, oh, $100, $150 for that Concordance. And what used to take me six months, then I got the Strong's Concordance, took me two months. And now, on the, you can get it by internet, by computer. I can do it in like five or ten minutes. It's amazing. And the Bible says, in the last days that God would give knowledge as never before. And guess what? Now, I've got it on my iPhone, and you can get it for $4.50. We don't have any excuse. And, all you, and now, even if you can't type good, you don't have to. You just press the button and speak the word, and it'll print it on there and show you every verse in the whole Bible that has that word. And then you can touch that, and it gives you the full meaning within microseconds. And so the word word throughout the New Testament, there are two major Greek words, and they have totally different meanings. One of them is called the logos. The logos is the written word, or it is the word of God that you receive mentally. Logos is the Word of God. You read the Word of God and you receive it into your mind. That's Logos. That's good. You need to have the Word of God in your mind. However, just having the Logos, you can't walk on water with Logos. And there are scriptures in the Bible and just because the Bible says it, and you know where it's at, and mentally you have received it. You understand it mentally, but it still doesn't work for you. However, the book of Romans in chapter 10, verse 17, is the answer. It says faith, and that word faith in the Greek, the fuller meaning, is trust, belief, and have confidence in God. And as I study that particular word, I find that you get a supernatural confidence. This is the kind of faith that David had when he went against the giant and slew the giant as a little boy. This is the kind of faith that will give you supernatural confidence like Moses, and he went before the Red Sea and made the Red Sea open up. And you see many, many miraculous things that happened in the Bible because these people had faith. Joshua, in, in Joshua chapter 10, he had faith and he commanded the sun and the moon to stand still and it did. He didn't do that with Logos. He did that with Rhema. And Rhema comes by hearing the voice of God. The word Rhema is God speaking to you personally. And God wants to speak to every one of us every day personally. The reason why I have such courage and confidence and boldness in speaking this message to you is because I heard God speak to me personally. He gave me the rhema. 
The rhema is the spoken word. If God speaks to you personally, John 14, verse 12 through 14, that you can do the works of Jesus in greater, and you stand before a river, and you need to cross it. If God speaks to you personally, you can walk across that river, just like Jesus. However, if you just have the Logos, it's not going to happen. In fact, many scriptures, will, all scriptures, will not work for you if you only have the Logos. If you have the written word, you, you read it, you've received it into your mind, you know where it's at, but that's, that's good. That's the Logos. But Rhema comes, according to Romans 10 and verse 17, it says faith, supernatural confidence. Faith cometh by hearing, and by hearing the word, the Rhema of God. So here's how you get Rhema. Rhema comes from giving audience to. That word hearing in the Greek is giving audience to. So you're giving audience by reading the Word of God, and you need to memorize the Word of God. Memorize scriptures that give you strength and give you power, gives you confidence. Go ahead and memorize it, and then here's what happens. Faith comes by, in other words, logos is turned into the rhema by giving more audience to the Logos. Logos, reading, reading, memorizing, speaking, speaking the Word of God. And then one day when God knows you need this verse to work for you, He speaks it to your heart. And then it works. Now, let me, let me just talk about this a little bit. It's not really complicated. You may not hear God speak in an audible voice because, see, God is not an intellect and God is not a human being. God is a spirit. So predominantly, now he may speak. You know, I, I would say in my whole lifetime, maybe two or three times in my whole life have I ever heard God speak to me in an audible voice. And it was just a real sharp little phrase and uh, to the best of my remembrance each time it was to correct me because I was out of order and uh, however that God speaks to us he's speaking to every single human being 24 hours a day he's speaking to us but we're not hearing him and the way God speaks he's a spirit it's a perception a witness on the inside of us, we have peace. Some people may say, well, you know, I don't know if I've got peace. It's real simple. Do you have war? If you don't have war, then you've got peace. Is there a war going on on in the inside of you? That if you say, well, you know, I, I, I want to step out in faith. Whatsoever things I desire when I pray, I believe that I receive. I, I want this new house. And I can't afford it, but I want it. And you know what? God wants to give us the desires of our heart, but if you've only got Logos, you're going to be in trouble when payments come. You're going to be in big trouble. However, if you don't even have the money and you have that desire, you can sign the contract and money will come some kind of way. But you better make sure you've got Rhema, that God spoke to you. You have that witness on the inside. Now, here's... Again, here's how the, uh, Jesus said in John 14, 27, he says that he gives us peace that passes all understanding, not as the world gives, but he gives us according to divinity, according to God's, the way God speaks. That's how God speaks. So we have this peace. And, and so, in other words, I'm not upset about this at all. There's no war whatsoever. I'm not worried about this whatsoever, not in the least. That's war. If you have worry, torment, a doubt, you know, that's war. But if you don't have war, then you've got peace. It's real simple. That as I study the Bible, I find that everything that God does, 
Everything in existence, is, there's only two choices. It's of the devil or it's God. And so war is of the devil. If you're on his turf doing his thing, you've got war. And you're on the devil's turf if you're trying to use God's word to get something for you and you've only got logos. God hasn't spoke to you. You don't have that peace deep down inside. Now, as I said, Hebrews in chapter 13, verse 5, God said he'd never leave us nor forsake us. So he's speaking to all of us because God isn't deaf mute. He's there. And in, in 3 John in verse 2 and 4, he says he has no greater joy than that his children would be blessed. He says, beloved above all things, I wish you would prosper. That word prosper is to prosper financially and to be in health. And so God is giving us, since that's his greatest desire, and he says, I have no greater joy, verse 4, than to know that my children are walking in this. In other words, if you're walking, you're having physical expression of what God's word says. Physical proof. He wants it not to just be a mental truth that God's meeting all of my needs according to his riches and glory, but he wants you to walk in it physically, to have it physically. And so God is speaking to us. That's his joy. And he, and he said he'd never leave us nor forsake us. So he's talking to us. What the problem is, we're not hearing him. And here's what happens as you study the Bible. Uh, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, he says, man or woman shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That word live in the Greek is having life the way that god has it and the way that you get that is from the mouth of god god speaking to you and so as i study the bible i see that there are so many the greatest miracle working power of god that has ever hit planet earth is about to take place in atlanta georgia october the 14th 7 p.m at the cop galleria center Jesus appeared to me. He explained to me how to release his miracle working power so that people can have miracles. Well, I've trained well over 300 people just for this miracle uh, service in Atlanta, Georgia, October the 14th at 7 p.m. at the Cobb Galleria Center. And so there's a corporate anointing that will take place for you personally. Everybody will be prayed for individually and personally as you study the bible you see that when two people comes together like this there's 10 times more of god's anointing that takes place well you can imagine when hundreds of people comes together and we're all fasting and praying for you so that you can receive your miracle so even if you don't need a miracle you don't want to miss out on this particular service because just the atmosphere of god's last days move of great miracles and the outpouring of his signs and wonders will change your life forever well another thing that i want to bring out and that is that we're building an army that has a desire to go across this land and flow with the last days miracle working power of god that will bring in the masses into the kingdom of god and so if you would like to be a person that wants to handle this anointing well what you need to do is call our church and give us your name and your phone number you've got to be born again jesus needs to be the lord of your life you need to be filled with the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues and then call the church the numbers on the screen 636-327-5632 or you can go to bond.tel and it'll lead you there how to do that and um, uh, so i want to encourage people that needs a miracle bring the blinded eyes bring the deaf ears uh, bring those that are in incurable conditions. Uh, bring those that uh, are missing bodily parts. Bring the dead. I promise you miracles are going to take place and um, God's going to be glorified. People's going to be blessed. We're going to make an absolute fool out of the devil. Looking forward to seeing you in Atlanta, Georgia, October the 14th at 7 p.m. at the Cobb Galleria Center in Atlanta, Georgia. So, but I, I see a, a spirit and he's, not a very large spirit, but he's in your lower back region. Uh, have you been dealing with that? A little bit. A little yeah. bit? And because you've probably been doing some 
Oh, yeah. Unusual work that requires a little bit of lower back bending. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're just going to pray for you. Everybody stretch forth your hand towards Vince, right in that uh, lower back region, um, especially more on the right-hand side. In Jesus' name, we take authority over that spirit. Leave Vince in Jesus' name. We command that area just to surrender to God's miracle power in Jesus' name. There you go. Well, Vince, now just get up and kind of do something. Yeah. yeah. Well, just focus on how much better it is, Vince. Great. Great? Yeah. Amen. You know something else I hear, Vince? I just heard God speak these words. Promotion. God is promoting you. He's promoting you. Yeah. Amen. Here's what I see. I see a spirit like in your heart region. And really it's not your heart so much as like he's like on the outside of your heart on the, the right hand side. And um, most likely because of him being on the outside, he's probably just messing like with arteries because the heart looks fine. And um, uh, so I see that. And then I, and, uh, then I see a spirit that um, is much larger, and he covers a lot of the areas of, um, of like your hip regions and your lower back your, uh, and, and both hips. Uh, have you been to the doctor for anything? I have. Um, I, I've gone to doctors. I've gone to uh, a chiropractor recently, and he said in my left hip that I have a problem. And actually, it was caused from another chiropractor because I remember when it happened. Mm -hmm. And he said it can't even be uh, have surgery, but it bothers me all the time. And in my lower back, too. I'm, I'm Something's weak in my lower back. So it just bothers you all the time? All the time. Okay. What about in your heart region? Have you... No, I went to the doctor actually last week, and he said, Did you, has anybody ever told you you have a heart murmur, a small heart murmur? And I said, no. And he said, well, you do, mm. and but it's nothing to worry about. So okay. that's the only thing with my heart okay. that I've ever heard. Well, we'll just get rid of the heart murmur. Amen. Right. Yes. Okay. Because it's not right. So, okay. Everybody stretch forth. Now, don't, don't say anything. Just sit there and relax. I want you to get into a, uh, a mindset of receiving, okay? And uh, so just everybody stretch forth your hand towards this lady in the heart region. In Jesus' name, we take authority over that spirit in the heart region. Leave her, and leave planet Earth in Jesus' name. You can't stay. We have authority over you. Leave. Now, let's do this down in the, those hip regions, lower back area. I, I take authority over this demonic spirit. He's probably like the beginning stages of like arthritis or something. At, and so in Jesus' name, we take authority over that demonic spirit. You leave in Jesus' name. You can't stay. Leave. I command you to leave in Jesus' name. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you just to come out here in this aisle. And the reason is there's two things as you... I went in detail with the guy from Mexico. Uh, Jesus said, seek and you'll find. So we always need to look for the better. Look, what God's, look for what God's doing, not for what the devil's doing. And then that's in Matthew 7, 7. In James 2, 20, the Bible says, faith without works is dead. The word works is corresponding actions. So to the best of your ability, just do something that was difficult for you to do before and focus on how much better you are just had a knee replacement also so okay. it's stiff and i had my other knee done last year so it's wow. pretty stiff but this is really what hurts i mean i know right. that my knees will be well and the, p the pain from that will go away so i'm not able to walk or to run or any of that anymore okay. until this knee gets healed how long ago was that uh in april april so it's mm -hmm. been a, just a few months mm -hmm. And that's the right knee? Right knee. Uh, well, let's just pray. This, so there's pain there? There's pain, yes, yeah. in both knees, actually. Really, pain in both? But, but they've been replaced. Yeah, well, that's mm -hmm. okay. God can it's all right. touch them. Amen. In Jesus' name, we take authority over the pain in both of these knees. You have to leave. You can't stay. And we command those knees. 
to surrender to the miracle working power of God in Jesus name amen hey here's what I want you to do just just walk up to that wall and back just you know just fast as you can and focus on the better just focus on the better now you said you had problems like in the in the in the back just Okay, just. But I haven't been, been able to walk this fast. I okay, tell you. well, t touch, <laughs> touch your toes with both of your. Oh my goodness! Uh, all okay. right. Now do that again. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Do that again. Touch my toes. Yeah. <laughs> Move your back, right. back and forth. How much better you feel? Right. It really does. 100 percent better. Amen. Thank God's a good. God. Yes, I have a special offer that will help you to receive healing in your personal body. Uh, in your finances, relationships, anything else that needs to be healed. Personally, I've been preaching since the age of seven. Don and I have been pastoring and doing crusades all over the world since 1972. A major mandate that God has given me is along the lines of healings and miracles. There's no way that I could possibly count all the multitudes of healings and miracles that I've personally seen. There's no way that I could even remember them all. Well, just recently, the Lord laid on my heart to do a teaching session whereby that everybody can receive their healing in their lives. And so I've got uh, uh, a teaching session that's in CD form or in DVD form. And there are three CDs, three separate teaching sessions. And uh, the CD offer is offer 28A for $20 plus shipping and handling. Or if you want the DVD, it's $35 plus shipping and handling. And I'm convinced this is the best teaching that I've done. I'm convinced that 100% of the people can be healed. God wants everybody healed. It's the perfect will of God for everybody to be healed. And this teaching, I'm convinced, will help you receive your healing in your body, in your finances, in your relationships, whatever needs to be healed. God wants you to be healed. I find in the Word of God well over hundreds of verses that clearly validate that God wants everybody healed all the time. You be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Last Day Signs and Wonders with Mel Bond. For more teaching and information, check out our website at melbond.tv or write us at Agape Church, P.O. Box 306, Wentzville, Missouri, 63385, or call our office at 636-327-5632. Keep up to date by friending us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Last Day's Signs and Wonders is made possible by the generous gifts of our partners. Please consider becoming a partner and help Mel Bond take this message of Last Day's Signs and Wonders around the world.